all know that uh, our topic of learning is about early childhood care teacher to be a teacher a trainer for early childhood care nursery teacher training ke liye ki jo teachers hain jo early childhood development mein jana chahti hain jo chote bachcho ko padhana chahti hain early childhood care early childhood years what we already discussed is from year 3 to 6 actually बट अभी आजकल जो है बहुत छोटे बच्चे हमारे पास आ रहे हैं जैसे डेढ़ साल से दो साल से तो सबसे जरूरी है कि अगर हम इस फील्ड में जाते हैं इफ यू आर एंटरिंग इनटू दिस फील्ड सो व्हाट ट्रेट्स व्हाट क्वालिटीज द टीचर शुड हैव टू बी इनटू दिस फील्ड नाउ दिस फील्ड हैज बिकम अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फील्ड बिकॉज इट इज द लर्निंग स्टेज द डेवलपमेंट स्टेज ऑफ द चाइल्ड आपका What do you say? कि बच्चे की डेवलपमेंट होती है वेन इट इज मेंटली फिजिकली इमोशनली सोशली और एज पर न्यू एजुकेशन पॉलिसी ऑल्सो इट हैज बीन टेकन इट एज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ईयर्स ऑफ लाइफ अभी जो न्यू एजुकेशन पॉलिसी आई है गवर्नमेंट की ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी की उसमें भी उन्होंने अर्ली चाइल्डहुड केयर को एजुकेशन को जो अर्ली चाइल्डहुड बच्चों की है अ ग्रेट एम्फोसिस हैव बीन गिवन on that so today we would discuss about the qualities of effective kindergarten teachers so what qualities should be there to be into early childhood development to come up as a early childhood caretaker to come up as a trainer a teacher More or less you say कि वो उसकी माँ भी है उसकी ट्रेनर भी है अर्ली चाइल्डहुड वालों की जो टीचर्स होती है जो नर्सरी टीचिंग में जाती है उनके साथ क्या होता है दे गेट स्क्रैच ऑल्सो दे आर हिट बाई द किड्स ऑल्सो बट द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग इज दे आर दंस टू होम द किड्स लव द मोस्ट इज इंट इट ऐसा नहीं होता कि बहुत ज्यादा प्यार मिलता है उनको दे आर लव द मोस्ट दिस इज सच अ प्रोफेशन कि आप उसमें बहुत हंसते हो बहुत स्माइल पास करते हो थोड़ा थोड़ा कभी कभी रो भी लेते हो उनके साथ बट यू ग्रो विद सो द फर्स्ट ट्रेट आई विल टॉक अबाउट इज पैशन बीइंग पैशनेट व्हाट डू यू थिंक दिस फील नीड्स पैशन व्हाई डू यू थिंक दिस नीड दिस फील नीड्स अ पैशन जब तक हमारे में कुछ जज्बा ही नहीं है करने का स्पेशली इस फील्ड में तब तक हमें करके कोई फायदा नहीं है कोई फायदा है कोई फायदा ही नहीं है जब तक हमारे को किसी चीज को करने का जज्बा ना हो अनलेस वी आर पैशनेट अबाउट समथिंग वी कैन नॉट डू इट एज अ प्रोफेशन सो अर्ली चाइल्डहुड टीचर्स मस्ट हैव अ पैशन फॉर व्हाट दे डू वो क्या करते हैं दे शुड बी पैशनेट अबाउट दे शुड बी पैशनेट अबाउट की येस मुझे टीचर बनना है यस yes, मुझे उन बच्चों के साथ जाना है हो सकता है बच्चे आपको मारे जैसा मैंने कहा हो सकता है बच्चे मूड में ना हो हो सकता है बच्चों के साथ भागना पड़े यू नीड दैट एनर्जी बट अनलेस यू हैव दैट पैशन विद इन यू यू कैन नॉट बी इनटू दैट प्रोफेशन सेकंड फील अ सेंस ऑफ अकम्पलिशमेंट दैट विल सस्टेन एंड मोटिवेट दम ड्यूरिंग चैलेंजिंग टाइम्स नो वट डज दी मीन फॉर दैट सेंस ऑफ कंप्लीशन उन्हें आपने कुछ करवाया जिससे आपको तसल्ली हो एक सुकून हो कि यस यू हैव बीन गिविंग देम समथिंग और यस टुडे आई हैव टॉट देम टुडे आई हैव प्लेड अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन देयर डेवलपमेंट अ सेटिस्फैक्शन एंड अकम्पलिशमेंट एंड देन मोटिवेटिंग देम समटाइम्स दे आर नॉट विलिंग टू डू एनीथिंग सो यू हैव टू मोटिवेट देम टू डू समथिंग टू डू दैट टास्क so for all those things you need to be passionate about this profession must have an again intrinsic motiv- motivation to overcome the obstacles bacche nayi jagah par aate hain naye schools ko join karte hain the ch- difference is the change of place the change of people at home they are given the different environment they are given a uh, very lavish environment but when they come to this preschool they have to adjust for so many different things there is a totally life changing pattern for them life changing life for them for, uh, 
ask for them whether it is 2 hour or 1 hour they feel so many things are like obstacles in their life ki mujhe yahan baithna hai to kyun baithna hai mujhe yahan par khade hona hai prayer ke liye to kyun khade hona hai so you have to motivate to make their journey uh, lively so that they should learn in a very happy environment ki yes i am going for something great it should be fun for them because kids are always in the mood of fun always in the mood of playing so you have to motivate them in such a way ki ye jo life ka unka naya padhav hai ye jo unke liye paradigm change aaya hai unke life mein uh, ye unhe bahut positive lage aur bahut acha lage next is you must have a positive relationship with your students now that is very very important you must have a positive relationship if you are going not going to be positive with them they are not going to sit with you they are not going to be with you they don't want to be at school a child always comes to school because of the teacher uska teacher ke sath itna acha relationship hota hai jiske karan bachcha apne school mein aana chahta hai again your motivation to learn is going to be the next field aap jaise use ye zindagi ki journey dikhaoge motivate karke wo uske liye ek nayi feeling hai ki yes because they are curious to know wo har nayi cheez ko janna chahte hain they would feel like ki yes this is something great which i'm going to do it this would be fun this would be good and i would enjoy that then only they would be a part of this journey they would like to be at school unhe acha lagega school mein aana unhe acha lagega to ye aapke upar depend nirbhar karta hai ki aap unke sath kaise hain to always have a positive relationship don't scold them be very positive jab hum kisi jab ek doctor ek patient ka इलाज करता है तो उसको ये बोलकर करता है अगर सर्जरी करने जा रहा है कि पता नहीं तुम बचोगे या नहीं बचोगे दे नेवर से लाइक दैट दे ऑलवेज से दैट यस यू विल बी फाइन दे गिव देम द पॉजिटिव एटीट्यूड नो बडी वॉन्ट्स टू गो टू दू नो सर्जन स्टेबल नो बडी वॉन्ट्स टू हैव अ कट ऑल्सो in that in this body nobody wants to have that stitches nobody wants to feel that pain but it is only because of that doctor which makes the patient feel comfortable that yes if you are going for this surgery you would be fine you would be comfortable to doctor ek sirf usi vishwas pe jata hai surgery ke liye to same way ye ek bacche ko agar aap ek motivated kar kar lekar jayenge is journey pe so they would feel the best they need to know that you love them and you care about them and they must enjoy being around you yes they should always have that faith in you that yes my teacher loves me my teacher whatever she is doing she is doing it for my betterment tabhi wo aapke aas paas rehna pasand karenge positivity is a game changer for badly behaved children now सपोज इमेजिन एक बच्चा क्लास में बहुत ज्यादा शरारते कर रहा है एंड यू जस्ट ब्लास्ट डोंट डू दिस कम हेयर सिट हेयर डू यू थिंक कि वो बैठेगा ज्यादा टाइम एक बार सुन लेगा दो बार पर उससे ज्यादा आपको तो उन बच्चों के साथ पूरा एक साल बिताना है आपको तो उनके साथ पूरा एक टर्म बिताना है जिसके लिए आप उनकी शुरुआत से उनके अंत तक जब बच्चा स्कूल में उस क्लास से दूसरी क्लास में जाएगा तो उसकी डेवलपमेंट में वर्क करना है तो अगर आप उस बच्चे को पहले दिन डांट दोगे या शुरू में डांट दोगे और वो आपकी बात नहीं सुन रहा तो आपको क्या लगता है कि आपको कुछ सिखा पाओ कि आप उसको नहीं नेवर यू वुड नेवर बी एबल टू मेक दैट चाइल्ड अंडरस्टूड एंड मेक दैट चाइल्ड लर्न समथिंग बिकॉज ही वुड नॉट लाइक टू हैव दैट बैड बिहेवियर फ्रॉम द टीचर ही वुड नॉट लाइक टू हैव दैट यू नो एंगर he would not like to have that uh, lecture from the teacher so how now you will behave that child i'll give you an example ek bachcha class mein bahut sharartate agar karta hai agar wo sharartate karta hai usko ek bar do bar aapne bola usne suna theek hai nahi suna it's okay uske baad use bolna hi chhod dijiye just ignore when he is doing something new sense just ignore yes just ignore but when the same child is doing something good kyunki aisa to nahi ki bacche har samay नेगेटिव ही करते हैं हर समय शोर ही मचाते हैं बहुत सारी ऐसी चीजें होती हैं जब बच्चे उस टाइम बहुत अच्छा भी करते हैं तो व्हेन द चाइल्ड इज डूइंग समथिंग गुड समथिंग पॉजिटिव जस्ट अप्रिशिएट दैट चाइल्ड 
give your attention to that child at that moment when you would give the attention to the child at that very moment you see the change in the child positivity is a game changer for badly behaved children yes it is very much true wo bacche mein aap jab difference dekhoge wo bachcha definitely ek positive बिहेवियर में चेंज होगा और आपके पॉजिटिव बिहेवियर के कारण वो आप जैसा बनना चाहेगा दे वॉन्ट टू बी लाइक देर ओन टीचर्स दे कॉपी यू सो दे वुड चेंज यू ऑलवेज ऑलवेज बी पॉजिटिव विद देम हमें कुछ सिखाना है उन्हें तो हमें उन्हें प्यार से सिखाना है हमें उन्हें मोटिवेट करके सिखाना है हमें उन्हें क्रिटिसाइज करके नहीं सिखाना है और ये उम्र है शरारते करने की करने दीजिए लेकिन जब वो आपकी बात सुनने लगेंगे आपसे प्यार करने लगेंगे तब उन्हें आप कुछ भी समझाएंगे तो वो मानेंगे और फिर वो उसके बाद वो एटीट्यूड भी छोड़ देंगे जस्ट ट्राई इट आउट इन क्लास डेफिनेटली यूल फील द डिफरेंस positivity reinforcement is 100% better than negative reinforcement this is a true 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 fact when we are doing something with a positivity in our mind to har cheez ki shakti jo hai wo badh jati hai aur negative soch ke sath chalenge to nahi chalti so when we are maintaining that positive attitude with the kids we would be happy they would be happy we would have that satisfied feeling within us so be positive with your students creativity now creativity is a must 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 for this profession because definitely you do something by performing you make them learn something by performing something by doing something provide enough stimulation to keep child engaged you have to keep the child engaged to aap usko engage karke rakhiye to engage aap kaise karenge jab aap use kuch karne ko denge aap usko खाली क्लास में नहीं बिठा सकते हैं कुछ भी करवाइए पेपर टीयर करवाइए कुछ भी करवाइए यू हैव टू बी क्रिएटिव यू हैव टू थिंक ओवर ये व्हाट आई शुड डू टुडे टू मेक माय किड्स मोर गेट मोर एंगेज विद मी मोर एंगेज इन द क्लास ताकि आपको ये ना बोलना पड़े की क्वाइट आपको उन्हें अपने साथ जोड़ने के लिए कुछ नहीं करना पड़ेगा बच्चों के लिए भी एक एक्साइटमेंट हो कि यस अगर आज हम क्लास में जाएंगे तो वी लर्न समथिंग न्यू फ्रॉम आर टीचर एंड डेफिनेटली यू अगेन फाइंड अ बेटर बिहेवियर फ्रॉम दैट साइड क्रिएटिविटी इन्वॉल्व मोर एंगेजमेंट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स विच एलिमिनेट्स बिहेवियर प्रॉब्लम यस इससे क्या आता है द मोर स्टूडेंट्स वेन दे आर एंगेज विद यू so they would have a better behavior they would have that sharing behavior they would create their social behavior when we are doing something creative with them suppose you are making any craft only and you are doing it in group so definitely jo bacche baat nahi karte the, the kids who are reserved or the kids who have there are different different behavior problems with the kids so you will find a drastic difference within themselves they learn how to work in a team they learn how to share their things so this is creativity is a very very important trait which a preschool teacher must have then next expose them to the diversity diversity in the classroom by using decorative objects learning materials again if you are creative you can make your classroom more beautiful more lively full of colors you can represent different cultures of our country you can different represent different nature things in your classroom so you need to be creative in your own world it's not that you need to know how to draw and or how to paint no you can do so many other ways of life you know and you can bring that all life into your class if you are creative yourself aap class mein agar aapko unhe kisi cheez ke bare mein padhana hai make that class live look like that particular place and you see the difference just have that wish you know visual thing in your mind that yes if suppose i am sitting near a beach how should be the scene create that thing into your class put a sand nearby make some drawings of water so let them feel that yes let them play with the sand so this is something you can give them a creative Uh, thought that yes we are sitting near a beach and we are doing we are playing with the sand we are making it that way so be creative so creativity is again a very important trait in this field 
patience and flexibility yes definitely you need to be patience why patience because sometimes they'll pull your hair you need to be quiet you cannot do something they are unpredictable they are unpredictable and they distract you they disrupt you sometimes you might be teaching something aap kabhi kuch padha rahe hoge to wo aapko padhane nahi denge wo distract karenge hi karenge aapke sath chhed khani karenge hi karenge wo class mein kisi ko chhedenge zaruri nahi ki you can make them sit it's not a robot they are not robots that you will tell them sit here aapne coding kar di wo baith gaya ki aadhe ghante ki class hai to nahi uthna no they might spill over so many colors they might spill over the things what you are doing but you have to be patient because you don't know what's going to happen in class sometimes you might be eating with the kids the other kids are also eating one might puke so again because kids are unpredictable you don't know what's going to happen so you have to keep patience within yourself to manage all those situations beautifully in a positive again maintaining that positive environment and that motivating environment so you need to be patient have patience to be with the small kids then sometimes you must need to be flexible again and have patience to change your lesson plan sometimes we have must seen that we i just thought to do uh, today we would just do numbers we would learn numbers but maybe few kids are not willing to do they are stressed out they are not uh, showing interest in learning so what is the fun of teaching the same time when they are not showing their interest unless they are not interested to learn something you won't be able to teach something jab tak unka interest nahi hai how would you teach them something you cannot so you have to be flexible sometimes we have so many plans but we cannot we cannot work according to our plan especially with these kids so we have to change our mind then again some kids doesn't uh, learn at the same pace you cannot shout on them ho sakta hai maine aaj koi cheez ek sikhai ho koi class mein 10 bacche hain char seekh gaye aur char nahi seekhe so you cannot you cannot uh, be frustrated you cannot show your frustration that yes maybe you had you might have teed, taught the child for four times five times but the child is not able to do this is especially when you start making them learn how to write जब आप लिखना सिखाते हो दे डोंट वॉन्ट टू राइट एंड समटाइम्स एवरी चाइल्ड डजेंट लर्न एट द सेम टाइम सो यू हैव टू अगेन कीप पेशेंस टू मूव ऑन फ्रॉम दैट पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट टू मूव ऑन टू गिव दैम स्पेस गिव दैम टाइम टू लर्न एंड मे बी यू हैव टू टीच दैम टेन ट्वेंटी टाइम्स मोर सो कीप योर पेशेंस एंड कीप स्माइलिंग okay then some again most important you are dealing with the parents this is the first time the parent is sending their most loving thing of their life to the school they have given your most important part of themselves to you so there it is very challenging to deal with the parents sometimes parents might shout out at you sometimes they might not like your attitude or the child might have told at home that i like my madam better than you so they might not feel good because it's a human nature so you have to again keep patience to deal with the parents again dealing with your management you need to have patience it is all coming up like what traits do you have it is the as a overall you know uh, a human nature what has to be formed when we, we are into this profession you have to deal with the school system because all the things are not according to us might not be favorable so you have to be again flexible patient to deal with the system few things are not always good to do sometimes things are very stressful sometimes they might have their own curriculum to do but you want to follow your own curriculum you want to do as per you so you have to manage the things you have to keep the things at pace you have to keep the things flexible how to move on so it depends upon your nature how you make your attitude to and then again it should not be stressful for you 
If you have patience, if you keep, if you are flexible, you would have peace within yourself and you would be a better and a happy teacher. Because most important in this field is to be a happy teacher. If you are a happy teacher, your kids would be happy. And if your kids are happy, they would like to learn from you. And if they would learn from you, they would bring out a good results. Result doesn't mean the number. Result means what they represent as how they represent you, what you have taught them. It's not always writing numbers. No, I'm not talking about the result. The result is if ever you have taught them how to be polite with your friends, how to be social or how to say thank you, sorry. If the child is just showing these gestures out of the class, that means the child is representing you. What you have taught, that is the actual result, the practical result, what everyone expects when a child is being sent to the school. So have a lot of patience, be flexible if you are joining, if you are becoming a preschool teacher. Master curiosity based classroom management. Now, how it has to be curiosity-based class management, you tell me. Curiosity-based class management is don't make your class boring. Don't make your class a Hitler class. Hitler class, mat banao. Make it a very lively class. Don't try to hold the attention of a class of kindergartners with threats like lecturing, giving instructions. Hey, now we are going to study. Don't do this. I should not see anybody moving out of the chair. I should not see anybody playing with the pencil. Can you imagine this in a preschool? In a class with the kids of th age three? No, not possible. If the kids are coming to the hospital also nowadays, they don't sit. They don't sit at one place, though they are suffering from fever or any, any, any kind of a problem. Cough, cold, they won't sit at one place. It's very difficult for parents if they have got some fracture or something uh, at their foot, how to manage. So how can you imagine them to be quiet and to be in limits on a particular seat for some time? No. It's only again, if you'll make a curiosity based class, you'll tell them we are going to do something which is very full of fun. So are you ready to do it? Then they might sit. So never ever give a lecture to your kids. Encourage your students to explore within themselves. Let them explore the things. They are always curious to know number of things. They are curious to learn. Kids wants to learn new things daily at every moment. You give them a toy, which is a movable, movable toy, they'll try to check from where it is moving. Now they know the battery system, but otherwise they'll try to see how it moves. So same way, make the class very much curious so that they should understand that yes, we are going to do something which is great, which we have not done before, in which we are gonna have some fun. Give them a curious tag, but let's solve that puzzle today. So let's see. Uh, share with them Montessori items or puzzles. So there are a number of other things what you can do with them. Give them beads, give them threads, give them toys, puzzles, blocks, which engages them. And if they are being bored with them, tell something new tagline that we're going to do something which is going to be full of fun. Because if you will encourage their curiosity, they would be happy to know, they would be happy to be with you and they would be happy to learn. Because this is the time when brain develops. So they have number of questions arising in their mind, number of questions. So just answer those questions. Let those questions come up more, more, more and more because the neurons burst in the brain at this time. They want to have more. It's like the food, you know, when we get the tasty food, we want more, more, more and more. It's the same way. When we get the answers or when we are curious to learn about something, it's like the hunger increases. We want to have more. Hamari bhook bad jati hai. We want to have more, more and more. 
and your class would be around free play duniya ke bare mein bataiye kuch bhi bataiye but make your class more curious learn the mastery of it for this you have to do a lot of work a lot of homework that what you, what you want to talk about tomorrow to make your class more lively playful class but definitely a learning class see as i told you their goal is always to have fun their goal is always to have fun they always want to have a lot of lot of lot of fun they don't want to sit even if they have got fever they don't want to sit they want to move around they want to learn by roaming why do they move around have you ever uh, just noticed why do they move around because they just want to check what is there behind the cupboard kabhi chhota bachcha hota hai when they start crawling they just move around in the corners they just check electrical you know sockets why because they just want to see what is there behind so again it's all about curiosity if you want to control them control their curiosity control it with your voice with your energy that yes you are going to tell them something which is great which is going to be full of fun then they're going to listen to you then they would copy you the way you behave suppose you're doing any mimicry they would copy that suppose you are shouting you are talking in a loud voice they would copy that kabhi dekha hai ki when a uh, when a child when a sorry when a teacher scolds a child sit here do this i should not see you moving in the class the same thing they go back home and they copy it and they do it with their grandparents or parents but if you are going to tell them in a other way out let's sit together to learn something new they would also copy you the same thing they would copy you copy your words they would copy your gesture they would copy your body language so this is again something which is the need of the hour nowadays no child wants to listen a high voice no child wants to have a lecture no child wants to have instructions from anybody so always show them curiosity within your class show them curiosity but make them learn something happily positively don't do it for themselves let them do it help them do it themselves don't do it for them sorry don't do it for them why do you want to do it for them not required not required khud karne dijiye apna kaam the more they learn how to do it themselves the more they would be creative the more they would be self dependent the more they would be confident the more they would be better in communication that is what is required nowadays aaj ki date mein waisa bachcha to nahi chahiye na kisi bhi parents ko ki jo mummy se poochta rahe sari zindagi no they want bold students they want bold kids they want the kid who can carry themselves let them do it themselves you don't do it agar aap ek craft ka item kaam khud karke deti hain and then you applaud tumne bahut acha kaam kiya do you think that child would accept it no because the child knows as a human being that you did it he didn't do it on his own usne khud nahi kiya so the child would not have that satisfaction and he knows that you are doing wrong you are telling lie and you are giving a lie applaud a fake applaud he won't accept it to his heart let them do it galat karenge ulta chipkayenge ulta drawing no issues let them try 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 and try again let them be independent and capable young people because this is what is required nowadays for the coming generation to be independent to be capable of doing their own work it was never before that we used to ask our kids to earn also but do you have you ever seen nowadays kids are earning at a young age of 10 12 they are doing so many so much of good work why these coding classes are coming up and these classes they are starting started teaching kids from the age of 
and they encourage the kids of age 8 9 10 to do coding to make apps and start earning why they are giving them these things in their mind because yes this is the time when they need to be independent you never know what's the life scenario would be so the life the time is gone when mother used to be after the kids eat 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 it or the teacher used to be with the kids holding hands okay you hold hand initially but don't make it a habit to do it throughout the life let them do it themselves let the kids fall on a daily basis and encourage them to try again i always 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 tell parents <coughs> the teachers also let the child fail fall at the age of 10 rather than at the age of 40 because if a child would not learn how to get up after the fall after he won't be able to get up in the life because life teaches you or gives you a lot of lessons then who's going to be with them at the age of 40 to get up who's going to be encouraging them who's going to be pulling them to get up let them get up no issue agar wo bachcha girta hai to ye mat sochiye ki aap उसको अगर क्रिटिसाइज कर रहे हैं अगर वो नहीं कर रहा या आप उसकी हेल्प कर रहे हैं तो उसको हेल्प कर अगर आप उसका काम कर रहे हैं तो आप उसकी हेल्प कर रहे हैं नो यू आर नॉट हेल्पिंग यू आर स्पॉइलिंग सिखाइए एक बार दो बार उसको करने दीजिए सिखाने का मतलब ये है कि उसको बताइए कि तुम ऐसा करो ऐसा नहीं कि लाओ मैं ऐसा कर देती हूँ नो उसको करने दीजिए देन यू विल सी द डिफरेंस इन द चाइल्ड दैट्स वॉट आई सेट द रिजल्ट स्पीक्स not the numbers the result how the child is representing you that matters let them become independent and confident learners because then only they'll try new things if they are scared from the failures if they are scared of anything that i'll fall or i might not do this then do you think they would try new things in their life no they won't they won't try and we should not encourage this thing within into them we should always encourage them to move on move on try new things try new food we also try na first 6 months we give them the mother feed or the dibbe wala doodh we try with serlac why do we try with new things because changes are always good for the betterment we always need to have changes in life and for that we need to learn new, new things but we should be willing to do that to usko seekhne ka jazba chahiye wo kya karega wo ek cheez seekhega wo dusri cheez seekhega sabse pehle hum serlak khilate hain ya hum ghar mein sooji bhun ke ya hum aapka ragi kuch bhi usko dete hain then we start up with salt then we start up with fruits then we start up with juices so step by step we do it and the child the you know the brain of the child is also such that they know that yes new things would come to us and we need to make it a habit so the same way when it is in the term of learning also let them be confident and willing to learn new things for themselves use clear instructions in your words and body language clear full clear instructions it should not be you are saying a very you know long sentence with full of typical words which they don't understand also don't do that with them don't do that if you want to tell them come and wash your hands or come out to in the corridor to wash your hands definitely if you will speak like this they won't understand initially you have to say come we have to wash your hands we have to wash the hands if you'll just give one instructions come out everyone in a line in a queue let's go to the wash basin to wash our hands do you think they would understand wo ek dusre se aise se karke puchhenge kya karna hai kya bola ma'am ne kya bola because they don't understand kisi ko ek word samajh aayega kisi ko dusra kisi ne teesra suna wash hands sare khade hue ek ke piche ek chal diye do you think that's the correct way no you should say come out use your body language wash your hands come out so they would learn that way initially it is required they cannot adapt the words the way we can do it they cannot adapt so we need to give them time for learning so early age may learning can be done very easily they have got that kind of a brain but that should be done step by step 
इट शुड नॉट बी लाइक एकदम से सारा कुछ ऐसे घोट के अंदर डाल दिया नो इट हैज टू बी डन स्टेप बाय स्टेप सो लेट देम लर्न वर्ड स्टेप बाय स्टेप वॉट डू वी कॉल इट एज चंक इट काटना एक सब्जी को या एक फ्रूट को जब हम बच्चे को देते हैं तो हम एकदम फुल फ्रूट नहीं देते क्यों नहीं देते क्योंकि वो फुल फ्रूट खा भी नहीं सकता और उसके पास दांत भी नहीं होते शुरू में तो वॉट डू वी डू इट वी चंक इट छोटे छोटे पीसेस काट देते हैं तो सेम वे चंक योर टॉक्स चंक योर फ्रेजेस सो दैट दे कैन क्लियरली अंडरस्टैंड दैट इज वॉट इज रिक्वायर्ड टू मेक देयर लर्निंग अगेन फुल ऑफ फन to make their learning more enjoyable and definitely to have your results that if you have taught them something you have taught them in small chunks which they would pick up and they would remember aap log class mein kya karte hain jab ek rhyme sikhate hain to char line ki line rhyme nahi sikhai jati shuru mein it is only first day we speak two lines then the second day we add up two lines then the four lines are completed and when it is in the uh, for nursery grade we tell four lines rhymes when it's for the above level we add up two lines then it is for the next level we add up two or four more lines it is as per the stage we do it the same way jab aap unke sath kuch instructions de rahe hain ya baat kar rahe hain use your body language use your different moves of the body your hands your eyes your facial expressions your gestures so that they should also learn that and they should understand dekhi when we speak what is our main motive of speaking is ki samne wale ko samajh aaye speak public speaking kya hai ki jo samne wale ke dil ko chhu jaye bolna kya hai ki jo bhi hum bol rahe hain wo aisa ho ki jo sunne wala hai usko samajh mein aa jaye so we should talk in the same language language so wohi hai english hindi bengali jo bhi hum language lenge but using our body language and in chunks talking with the kids is something different why do grannies or elder people when they pick pick up the child in hands and say oh le 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 how are you kacha hai tu it's it's not like you unko bolna nahi aata why do you use those words because it's like you know more of loving love kinds it's more of like jo bacche ko acha lage sunne mein so the same way aisa boliye jo bachcho ko samajh aaye jo usko acha lage to usko chhota chhota kaat dijiye bacche ke haath mein ek seb pakda denge to bachcha pura kha lega nahi khayega uske chote chote tukde karke denge fork se denge haath se denge bachcha khane lage they learn also how to eat the apple they would develop the taste of the apple to the same way if you want to make them learn new language if you want to make them learn the words chunk the words down they would learn then second thing again body language get down to the student level some unki aur hamari height mein bahut farak hota hai get down to that level so so many times we have to get down to that level to talk to them to make them understand kai bar bachcha bhag raha hai aap dur se chillaoge hey don't run kaun sune usko sunna hi nahi hai but if you'll start running over or aap <coughs> need out karke uske aage aa jaoge so they would listen then even if you pick, just hold their shoulders also please don't run ya yeah, don't run they would understand also so you have to get down to them in teaching also you have to get down to their level sometimes maybe on the chauki sometimes maybe on their chair so you have to be like that so again it's a trait within you what you have to maintain you have to develop कि बच्चों से बात करनी है तो हमें बच्चों के ही तरह बात करनी पड़ेगी और अपनी बॉडी लैंग्वेज यूज करनी पड़ेगी हमें झुकना भी है हमें उठना भी है सो यू नीड टू हैव अ लॉट ऑफ एनर्जी फॉर दैट एंड देन ओनली दे वुड अंडरस्टैंड एंड दे वुड बी विद यू देन अगेन वाइल टॉकिंग एज आई टोल्ड यू यूज योर बॉडी बॉडी फुल बॉडी आपने अपनी लेग्स फोल्ड करी नील डाउन हुए तो लेग्स का भी यूटिलाइजेशन हो रहा है आपने हाथ चला रहे हैं फेशियल एक्सप्रेशन दे रहे हैं टू मेक दम अंडरस्टैंड वॉट दे आर टेलिंग so make it sure whatever you are telling tell them in such a language use such so such words which they understand which they love to listen and always smile when you are doing it show your energy when you are doing something with them your energy is very 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 important in this profession your energy your communication it's very 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 important see i'll tell you one thing when we talk the human body 
imagine karo whatever things comes out of this human body it's full of smell it's full of dirt kuch bhi acha nahi aata upar wale ne jo bhi hamari is body se bahar nikala hai that is uh, nothing which is sweet whether it is our blood whether it is our sweat whether it is our excretion it's everything full of smell only one thing is sweet which comes out from the human body that is our tongue our speech so always be good in speech and uh, utilize have good words so that you can make your speech good they can also pick up the same thing they would also love to speak in that same language so the speech is one thing which god has given to the human beings which should always be sweet which should touch the other person's heart sunne wale ke dil ko chhuni chahiye aur usko achhi lagni chahiye to use that those words so always have a sweet speech always have a sweet smile on your face when you are dealing with your sweet sweet students so again welcome in this world loving word i always say to give love and get love this is one you know which is required for this profession you have to love them and in return you will get a lot of love so i hope you understood <laughs>